Hey, how about a quick tour of the inside of an 0 by 32 cabinet. So if you open up the cover, there's a little screw thing here. So if it's, if it's flat, it means it's in the locked position. If it's straight up and down, it means it's open. So you take a screwdriver and you can open that. You open it up. These little hinges like to come off sometimes right there. That's not uncommon. Anyway, you've got um, this big thing over here is the power supply. And that actually comes out. So there's a little screw there, and that can actually come out. Don't know why you need to take it out unless the power supply went bad. This right here is the software module. Now, that's usually two components. It's a big component that's about five inches that slides into the back plane, but then there's also this little bitty PCMCIA card that slides into that, and that's usually the actual software version. Um, and none of that stuff should be changed while the system is on, okay? There's no hot swappable parts. To my knowledge, there's no hot swappable parts in the Nortel 0 by 32 So anything you do in terms of changing things out has to be done while the system is turned off. This little green light would give you a clue as to whether the power is on or not. This little skinny card right here in the middle is an expansion card. See those little um, fiber connectors that go to different uh, expansion modules like trunk modules or station modules. And then these two cards right here are called um, trunk cards. And each trunk card handles four analog CO lines. And then over here on the far right are the amphenol tails. And the first amphenol tail and the second amphenol tail go out to station punch-down blocks. And then the, the third one um, goes to connect the uh, analog CO lines, which would be handled by those uh, trunk cards I just mentioned. In the bottom, it's just kind of an organization tray. Um, you tuck your cables and so forth in here. Also, there's these little bitty slots right here across the bottom. When you do um, an expansion module, um, they usually come with this fiber connector, and they usually come with a reel, like a little round disc. And the slack that you don't use from that fiber connector um, stores on that reel, and then that reel gets tucked inside these little slots right here. So again, this is the inside of an 0x32. There's no reason why you should be taking any cards in or out of this with the power turned on. That would not be good and you would likely damage something. Okay, that's the 0x32.